Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and today I am taking you guys into Target so we can shop all of the fungal acne safe products in there. Now, I know I've done this video in the past and it's got tons of views on it, but since doing that video, my Target has gotten so many more brands in and there are over a hundred products that are now available. So we are gonna go through some new stuff today as well as point out a few of our old favorites. Roll the footage. So we are going to start with Pixie by Petra. They have five different options that are available here today. The Clarity range. Now, this one surprisingly is not only for acne prone skin, but they also have quite a few items within it that are safe. So first up, they have the Pixie Clarity Tonic. This is a very similar type of a product to Pixie's Glow Tonic, which is so popular. Um, but it has salicylic acid and probiotics in it. So this would be a really good treatment plan if you have fungal acne breakouts, that salicylic <laughs> acid is gonna directly fight it. In addition, this is the Clarity Concentrate. It is also a mix of salicylic acid and probiotics. Um, it's gonna be more of a serum, so you're gonna leave it on overnight, put it under your moisturizer, and it would be another good treatment option. Okay, there is a collagen retinol serum that would be right here. Um, it is also a safe product. I think that would be a really good value if you wanted to get something from this line. I will put a picture of it up right now because they're out at my store. There is a hydrating milky makeup remover that I do not see in my store either. So I'll put up a picture of it right now. I actually don't think they carry it at this store. Versed, first product up that we have from Versed is the Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. Um, this is yet again, one of those toner products that I believe has a mix of, yep, witch hazel, so that's the same as salicylic acid, um, glycolic acid, lactic acid, all those sort of things in it, azelaic acid. So this could be a really good option if you wanted something really powerful and you're also trying to fight some scarring or hyperpigmentation, you might look into this one. All right, if you're looking for a cleanser by Versed, they have the Wash It Out Gel Cleanser. This has rose water and seaweed extract. Um, this actually seems like a pretty decent cleanser to me ingredient list wise. I would prefer this over some of the other ones that I'm gonna be showing you today. In the brightening serum-y realm, um, lots of products that have vitamin C and niacinamide, things like that in them are safe, thankfully, by many brands. This is the first Stroke of Brilliance Brightening Serum. Um, one fluid ounce in here. Again, this is truly for making your skin look more luminous and bright. So if you're into that, then this would be a really good option for you. Another booster type serum that they have is the Hydration Station Booster with Hyaluronic Acid. It's a facial treatment. It is an option for you guys, so you could check that out. I'll put a picture of it up right now. And then the other product by Verse, the final one, is the Versed Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask. Again, they don't have that at this particular location today, so I'll put a picture of it up right now. And let's move right into Bliss because it is right next to this. First up, we have got the Bliss Jelly Glow Peel. This has some fruit enzymes. It's basically an exfoliating product for your skin. And then the other product is also an Incredipeel Glycolic Resurfacing Pad. They don't carry those at my store right now or they're out of them here, so I'll put a picture of them up on screen. I wanted to quickly hit on La Roche-Posay since we are over here by it. Um, this is their purifying foaming cleanser. This again does have one, um, I think, fatty acid in it. As far as things go, I would still definitely choose this cleanser over a lot of the other options as well. So either this one or that one by Verse that I had mentioned. Then they've got the Effaclar Duo. This is their benzoyl peroxide treatment. Now, as we know, benzoyl peroxide is not necessarily going to treat your fungal acne, but if you're having a mix of fungal and regular bacterial acne, um, it definitely could be an ally, and I don't necessarily think it would hurt. Number seven, I wanted to say, they don't have it in my store, so I'll put a picture of it up right now. The Dark Spot Correcting Booster Serum with Vitamin C is going to be fungal acne safe. So again, if you're looking for a dark spot um, treatment type of an option, Boots will have you covered. They also have a lot of makeup, so when we get to makeup, we will be heavy into the Boots section. Simple has the Simple Kind to Skin Micellar Cleansing Water. A couple more things to mention. We've got our Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel um, Pore Perfecting Toner. This is gonna be safe. This is another thing. Witch Hazel is basically natural, naturally occurring salicylic acid. So if you're more into that kind of a realm, then this could be a good option for you. I think this is a classically great product. Cetaphil, the Gentle Skin Cleanser, is going to be safe 
for fungal acne. And then we are gonna be on to some CeraVe. CeraVe wise, they're already out of the cleanser that I really wanted to talk to you guys about, but it's the salicylic acid cleanser. Um, they've been redoing the bottle and restocking it, but it keeps going out of stock, so I'll put a picture of it up right now. I think it's a really good option. And then while we're over here, and we'll have to go to another aisle and re-pick up CeraVe in a little bit, um, but they have the AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This again, like the moisturizing cream, has one product that is not totally safe, but I've been using CeraVe for a long time, and it really just doesn't cause me any problems, so I really still like to recommend it. Okay. Let's move over to Starface. Now, they just launched in Target, so that's a pretty exciting thing. This is very much an Instagram fabulous brand. Um, this is the Exfoliating Night Water. This is gonna be another type of a toner type treatment. And technically, they don't have the ingredients listed, but I am inclined to think that because they don't, this is just a hydrocolloid patch. So in that case, their pimple patches are completely safe. They have them in two different types of um, packages here. Let's move in. This whole section is all the acne stuff they have at Target that's specifically targeted. So let's kind of work our way through it. This is gonna be similar to the first video I did because I mentioned a lot of these. But of course we have different gel in two different sizes. We've got adipaline treatment, which is like a retinoid. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, over a long time of use, you might be seeing some anti-aging benefits from that as well because it is vitamin A derived. They do not have the daily deep cleanser, but if they have it, I'm gonna put a picture of it up right now. It is a benzoyl peroxide cleanser and it is totally safe as well. First up, Neutrogena wise, we have the Clear Pore Oil Eliminating Astringent. Um, this is a salicylic acid astringent, so yet again, that's gonna fight your fungal acne directly, potentially a good option. Neutrogena on the spot treatment. This is benzoyl peroxide, so yet again, we know the story with benzoyl, but if you wanted to get that, you could. Really quickly, there, oh, they have one left. I wanted to touch on St. Ives because they have it at my store. This is the St. Ives Glowing Oil-Free Face Moisturizer. It's the watermelon scented one. Um, this is fungal acne safe, and it's a newer product, I believe, because watermelon's kind of the trend right now. That is a good option if you're looking for a really affordable moisturizer. I actually have been using this and liking it pretty well, but my sister also uses it and thinks it might break her out, so just test it out, of course. Clearasil and Clean and Clear. These are two brands that, especially in America, have been prevalent since I was a teenager and a child. Um, they're kind of losing traction and probably with good reason. I'll be honest with you guys, I like what's in the Clearasil range. I don't like what they have to offer in Clean and Clear too much, but I'm still gonna show you both just in case that's what's available to you. So first up, Clearasil wise, we have got these Miracle products. The Stubborn Acne Control 5-in-1 Daily Pads. They're salicylic acid medication, and they're gonna be, I think, 2% just because they are for stubborn acne. And then we've also got the Rapid Rescue Deep Treatment Pads. These are also salicylic acid. They're maximum strength, so I'm assuming they're 2%. This one might be a little lighter. I'll try to denote the difference if I can figure it out. And oddly enough, the Stubborn Acne Control 5-in-1 Exfoliating Wash is also safe. This is yet again salicylic acid. I wouldn't necessarily recommend using this treatment with the pads, with all the other astringents in your life. And the only reason for that is because it's gonna be so drying for a lot of people that it could kind of sabotage your efforts to clear your skin. So just be cautious when choosing a cleanser. That's why I just like to get a cleanser that's very neutral and it's just meant to clean your skin. Oops. These are just Clear Sills version of the spot treatments like the star face little pimple patches. Um, these are safe, they're also hydrocolloid. Clean and clear wise. This is the Essentials Deep Cleaning Astringent. This is salicylic acid acne medication. It says it's oil free. This one does have the salicylic acid, but I'll be honest, if you look at the ingredients list on this, I think alcohol is like the second ingredient. I'm not gonna say that this is really my favorite option. I don't, I think you could do better. The Night Relaxing Deep Cleaning Face Wash is gonna be fungal acne safe. Um, it's the main one of their face washes that is. I think if you were gonna go with this brand, this is probably the product I would choose out of everything I'm gonna show you. Clean and Clear Persigel. This is 10% benzoyl peroxide, so we know the drill with benzoyl. Um, this could be a treatment if you wanted to get it. 
And then obviously the oil absorbing sheets are totally safe, which they usually are. I used to use these, which is so weird. Middle school brook. This morning burst, the blue one, the hydrating facial cleanser is also safe. So that could be an option for you. This watermelon gel cleanser is also safe. I will say it contains paraffin wax, which is an unverified ingredient. So just patch test this if you were gonna go with this. But yet again, out of all three of these cleansers, I actually kind of think that this puppy right here, the night relaxing deep cleansing facial, facial wash is probably gonna be your best bet. I wanted to point out a couple of masks. We have got Freeman Exfoliating Gel Mask and Scrub. This is the charcoal and black sugar. We've also got the Freeman Anti-Stress Clay Mask with Dead Sea Minerals. And then the final one by Freeman is gonna be the Hawaiian Black Salt Peel Off Mask. From Avatara, we've got the Be My Honey Nourishing Face Mask. This is again a paper sheet mask. And we've also got the Yugo Coco Hydrating Coconut Mask. I know coconut mask might scare a lot of you guys, but just keep in mind, it's probably coconut water, which is usually fungal acne safe. It's coconut oil and other forms of it that we're trying to avoid. From Miss Spa, we also have the Hydrate Sheet Mask. And we have the Charcoal Facial Sheet Mask. Before, we move to the next aisle. I did just want to quickly point out, obviously, um, the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. You can get any of the versions. They also have that yellow bottle now that I think has vitamin C in it, and there's also the rose water version, and they're all completely safe. This one just happens to be my personal favorite because it's also formulated to be waterproof, and I truly find that out of all of them, this one removes makeup the best because it's gonna fight the most stubborn makeup versus just kind of generalized. And now let's go into the other aisle. We've got one more row to cover. Oh. Before we move on, I did just want to point out the Thayer's Witch Hazel Facial Toners. These are safe. They have rose petal and all the different versions as well. Yes to carrots. Yes to anything is going to be a massive undertaking here at Target. They have so many options. First up, the Detoxifying and Hydrating White Charcoal Mud Mask. Not the paper version, but the mud version is safe. So they have a single use and they also have it in a container like a squeeze tube so you could get multi multiple uses out of it. This Yes to Cucumber Calming Paper Mask is safe but not the other versions so just stick to this one. Yes to Grapefruit Vitamin C Glow Boosting Peel Off Mask is safe. They've also got this Unicorn Mud Mask which is safe. If you're looking for under eye, they have the de-puffing under eye mask from Yes to Cucumbers. They've got the peel off charcoal detoxifying mask that is safe. The Yes to Tomatoes acne spot treatment. This is salicylic acid, charcoal, witch hazel. This is the Yes to Tomatoes triple threat acne treatment. It actually has sulfur in it, so that's a good way to actually you know, treat and fight your fungal acne, um, as well as witch hazel, so salicylic acid, which is going to also treat your fungal acne. So this could be a really good option for some of you guys. This Yes to Watermelon Super Fresh Facial Cleanser is a safe option as well. This Super Fresh Jelly Mask is technically safe, but it does have um, ingredients that could promote the growth if it's mixed with ceramides. So if you're using um, like CeraVe or something like that, maybe skip this one and go with something different. We've got the Yes to Tomato Blemish Clearing Facial Wipes. We've got the Yes to Tomatoes Detoxifying Charcoal Facial Wipes that are safe. Last but not least, the Yes to Cucumber Soothing Calming Facial Wipes um, with aloe vera and cucumber. We're gonna move on to a couple more brands that we really didn't cover the last time. First up, we have got two options from Alba that are available here, but there's also a few more available. We've got the Face and Body Scrub, the Acne Dote. Again, this is a salicylic acid formula. And then we have got their Pimple Patches. So these are yet again, just gonna be one of those hydrocolloid spot treatments. It has a few other things in it as well. At your store, they may also have the um, Acne Dote Anti-Pimple Pads, which are like actual facial wipe pads. And then they might also have the Hydration Sensation Hydration Gel. Pacifica is another one where we're gonna have a lot of options. So let's just kind of take it from the top down. 
First up, we have the Pacifica Glow Baby Booster. This is glycolic acid and vitamin C. Um, I know one of my viewers specifically recommended this to me one time, so this is definitely on my still want to buy list. I just haven't gotten it yet. These are the Pacifica Eye Bright Under Eye Vitamin C Spot Serum Masks. So if you want some under eye patches, these could be a good one for brightening. The Pacifica Sheet Mask Stress Rehab, the Coconut Caffeine. I believe the Super Green Detox is also safe, but I'll definitely check that for you before I say. And then at my store, they also have the Disobey Time Facial Mask. These are all safe. Acne Defense, this is a salicylic acid face wash. This is the Acne Defense Face Wash. Um, it's also called Pore Warrior Deep Cleanser. It's the same product. We've also got the um, Dry It Out Acne Gel Spot Treatment. This is a salicylic acid treatment yet again. From the Rose products, we've got the Hydro Mist. Another face wash is the Kale Detox Deep Cleaning Face Wash. This is, again, for oily and blemish prone skin. They also have a body wash, which I think it's always fun to find body washes because they're kind of few and far between the like fun ones to buy, but this coconut cream body wash is also safe. All right, so we've got the Pineapple Curls Curl Defining Shampoo, which is safe, so that could be a good option for you guys. And we also have the Rosemary Purify Invigorating Shampoo. This one has all those good rosemary minty smells, which I kind of love. In addition, we also have the Scalp Love Rosemary Mint Serum. Um, this is also said to be good for split ends on their website. I'm gonna have to verify this to be sure, but I believe it's this product that they're talking about, the Big Wave Soft Hold um, Hairspray, is gonna be a, a good hairspray option. That is actually pretty exciting to me because when do you actually find fungal acne safe hair products and also from a brand that you kind of wanna buy because it feels special. So I thought that was a good little treat. Oh, I did wanna point this one out because they didn't have it anywhere else. Um, this is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. It's a 4% benzoyl peroxide treatment. It is safe. And like I was saying before, the Differing Cleanser Daily Deep Cleanser is also fungal acne safe. We are back here for one more quick run of it. We have got from CeraVe, the CeraVe Healing Ointment. I absolutely love this stuff, you guys. My hands have been having so many problems lately because of school and just washing them and hand sanitizer. This stuff is really helping to heal them quickly. Here is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. You guys will know and love this if you have been around with my channel for a while. I use this as my body and my face moisturizer a lot of the time. And we will just cap this off with sunscreen, but that pretty much covers everything that they carry in my targets that is fungal acne safe, which was a lot. We had lots of new good things. When it comes to your sunscreen, we are back to the same old song and dance, our typical story. We've got Sunbum, the SPF 50 in the spray bottle, and they have got the Banana Boat Simply Protect Kids. This is um, 50 SPF. They also have the Simply Protect Baby version and it is also going to be safe. I bet they carry that in the baby aisle here because they like to get you around the store. Those two are available pretty much everywhere I go. All right guys, so that is gonna be it for this video, but look for part two. It is going to be all the makeup products available from Target that are fungal acne safe. I'm gonna go ahead and pop two videos on the screen that I think you guys will really enjoy. Otherwise, come hang out with me on Instagram at Brooks Beauty Bazaar and join me on my mission to prove that clear skin and amazing makeup can coexist.